fly. You're afraid to fly, and we're driving. <laughs> to go to Vegas and from Vegas to uh, how far is from Vegas to Arizona, Phoenix? What are, you, what are you doing? Lots of people are searching. Hi, I'm Mohammed. Uh, my blog is toplevelaffiliate.com. Top I've been doing affiliate marketing okay, uh, for three years. You this came morning. all the way from Pakistan just to <coughs> yes. for lunch. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> That's a new record. That's a new record. Hi, this is Marie Walker Riddle of Mom Between, and I'm here with John Chow. My new series, Talking with John Chow. And John, new topic today. New topic, okay. okay. I've been cornered again. I know, I, I constantly corner poor John. Um, but what I wanted to talk to him about today was um, mentorship. And basically, some advice that he might have on being a mentor or even finding a mentor. So let's start with John. Yeah. Do you have mentors? Yeah. Or did you? Oh yeah, I still do. Okay. I still do. And who would they be? Well, um, I'm not going to say. <laughs> okay, you don't have to, and you don't have to. But what what is it that you were looking for when you were, were trying to find a mentor? Well, basically, the idea of mentorship is to find somebody who's already achieved what you want to achieve. Okay. Most, pe most people learn from people who hasn't done what they're teaching. Okay. That's actually typical of the school system, really. I mean, sure. uh, you go to most school, they're, they're teaching you this, they're teaching you that, but most of the time, the professor or the or the teacher actually doesn't do that as their main profession. Okay? So when you're looking at people online trying to learn internet marketing or trying to learn something, you should definitely try to find someone who are, who are doing what you want to do and who are successful at it. Like, if I want to become a dentist, I'm not obviously, I'm not going to go talk to an internet marketer and learn how to become a dentist. Sure. I'm going to talk to the best dentist in town. Okay. Yeah, so this is the same thing. Like, if you, if you want to learn internet marketing, uh, you want to learn blogging, you should learn from someone who's actually doing that as their primary business and who's successful at it. Yeah, and this brings up a really good point because, you know, there are a lot of people out there that you think are doing well. Mm -hmm. Did you have to weed those people out in, in, in your mind and say, oh, you know what, I had to, you know, maybe you had to try them out first and pursue them as being a mentor for you, and they just didn't work out, and you had to basically refocus somewhere else. No, it's, it's really not that hard to find the go-to people. It's not. Okay. Yeah, the, the cream always rises to the top. Like okay. in any industry, there's going to be the people that are well known, yeah, and the ones that you don't know or who claim to be gurus or claim to be really good at their what they do. It's not that hard to actually do some due diligence and just find out. Okay. Like, if somebody says, like, you want to learn YouTube marketing, right. and someone's claiming to be, I have a course, I'm going to teach you how to do YouTube marketing, and then you go to the YouTube channel and find only a thousand subscribers or yes. a couple hundred subscribers, okay. obviously something's wrong. Right, right. right? Or you see the right. total video view. Like, I, they, I guess not. There's actually someone in Orange County who claims to be a YouTube guru. Right. Okay? He has 300 subscribers on his channel. <laughs> And he's supposed to teach well, you. He's supposed to teach you how to do YouTube marketing. <laughs> maybe, but yeah, that's true. So, like I said, do some due diligence, right? Like if right. someone if someone claiming to be a blogging expert, you know, check out the blog. What is the? Well, how much traffic does the blog get? How many subscribers do they have? How many RSS readers do they have? Right. That kind of stuff, right? right. So, it, and then you can contact them and find and get them. Okay. Them. Now, you're a mentor to some, like me, like Smile Shocker, mm -hmm. a few others, Oscar Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. I mean. <laughs> What is it that you get out of being a mentor? You personally. I mean, what, what do you find you get out of doing that? You feel good about yourself? You yeah, a lot of it is personal satisfaction. Okay. A lot of it, because uh, a lot of people, believe it or not, a lot of people do not approach me for this because they, they figure, A, you know, too busy, time constraint, and uh, hey, it's like, it's kind of like, I remember the story of one time I was at a, a party doing Comdex when it was around. Oh, yes. Yeah, the Comdex. Yeah. And we were at the, uh, the, we were at the PC Magazine Awards. Okay. Right? And at this award, it, uh, the, at this award, it was Bill Gates. Right. Uh, Steve Ballmer. Mm-hmm. Michael Dell. Right. And the, and. Big boys. So, yeah, exactly. So, they were, out, they were at this corner yeah. with the editor-in-chief of PC Magazine and the, these three guys who worked like over $100 billion combined. Right. So. And no one approached them. They just by themselves talking among each other. So, but, and that, a lot of people would be just be intimidated by that much 
power and wealth in the room. Right. Or just in that corner, right? But we just thought, that, hey, you know, I wonder, but me and my Mr. And Mrs. Ray, I just said, I don't know what happened. We just go up there and just say, hi, how you doing, right? And then security tackle us on our way. We don't know. So I asked my friend, go, you want to do it? I go, yeah, sure. What the hell? What's going happen is we get mugged. Oh, security was just, someone would just, someone just come and say, stop. Right, exactly. Right? Bouncer. Yeah. So we did. We just walked right up to them. Nobody stopped us. Or we just say, Hi, Bill. John Chow. <laughs> Shook the hand and talked to him for a while. Talked to talked to uh, talked to Michael Dell for a bit, and like normal, just like normal everyday people. There's nothing special. I mean, yeah, the, the bank account is humongously big, but they do enjoy talking about their profession. In case of you know, in case of Bill, we talk, we, we talk about Microsoft and like, Dell was there. They also talking about computer. We went Comdex, and we just we, we just talked to them like normal. Right. Okay, so uh, and they, and I actually think they actually generally enjoy talking to us, because right? uh, let's just face it, I, I do enjoy my stuff, I do enjoy teaching this stuff, so when someone is generally interested in what I want to talk about, yeah, it, there is, so there is a personal satisfaction there. Well, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Well, and knowing you now through our dot-com lifestyle lunches and spending time with you, I can honestly vouch for how natural you can be and are, and how one-on-one, -on -one, absolutely, anybody that comes to our dot-com lifestyle lunch, you, you, you don't feel like you're by yourself and you can't talk to anybody, you can't talk to John or anybody. We're a very open group. And I think that that comes obviously from, from you because you're, you know, the figurehead. We're open. You're, yes, we're open. We're open. We're not closed. Right. <laughs> so um, I guess my, my next question would be, you know, as you, as you just said, sometimes mentors... Uh, you could just ask them, you know, the ones that you're looking for. If you, if, if, for instance, John, you know, coming up to John and talking to him, you need to be able to put yourself out there and not be afraid and shy away. He doesn't have a halo over his head. And, I mean, I think that's one of the things that you have to realize, too, is uh, we put people up on a pedestal that we put on, and they're not necessarily that way at all. So let's talk a little bit, one more topic, actually, is... Are men, are men, what do you think? Are mentors heroes to people? Nah. Okay. Just remember that uh, a mentor, okay, if you're really looking for a mentor, uh, you, when you're looking for a mentor, if someone wants me to mentor them, keep in mind that if I'm going to be your mentor and I can be your friend. Because right? I will, as I don't want to tell you what you want to hear, I will tell you what you need to hear. So keep that in mind that if, if, if you're working with a real mentor, sometimes he can be very, very rough on you. Right? This is but he's true. doing he's doing true. it because he, if he's a true mentor he'll do it because you need it not because he's not trying to please you right? so if, if the mentor you're dealing with is always saying oh you're doing a great job you're doing a great job and not giving any criticism whatsoever uh, well you <laughs> you might want to be a little weary about that right because <laughs> obviously mentors are, are there for the good and the bad and they need to kind of drive you in some ways mm -hmm. and if they're constantly saying oh you're doing great you're doing great you're not going to excel. You learn more from your failures than you do from your from mm -hmm. your successes yeah. in life. Thank you, John. I appreciate this. All right. Okay. Like below and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hey, just in time, Sally.